and now we are on grounding system. It's one of the most controversial part when it comes to solar power system installations. And I have been receiving a lot of questions regarding this. Today, I'm going to try my best to explain this in the most profound manner so everybody can understand. Let's start with PV array. Here's our solar panels. And we need a ground. We also need a ground rod. There you go. And by using a ground wire, we can connect one of the panels to the ground rod. Supposedly, that should be enough to make the grounding system work properly. But most of the professional solar installers that I've met, including me, sometimes I do this. I bind all the solar panels with a copper wire just to make sure that there is continuity within all the panels. And that is very important. All solar panels must be tested if each one of them has a continuity connection from one to the next. Don't just rely on clumps and railings. Because some solar panels, they have a thin coating on their frames that serves as insulation. If needed, band all PVs using copper wire. Now, you don't have to do this if you are 100% sure that all the solar panels have continuity to each other. The next important thing is the ground rod has to be installed at the nearest location or right below the PV array. And now let's take a look at all-in-one ground rod. Okay, we have the PV array, the DC SPD. Of course, we have our hybrid inverter. The AC SPD on the AC output of our hybrid inverter. And another one for the AC input of the hybrid inverter. So we can just have one ground rod and connect all of this into that. The next thing is all-in-one ground using bus bar. So we have our bus bar that should be pure copper. And we have the ground rod, and we have to connect our bus bar. Then we have the PV ground wire, DC SPD connected to the PV wire, parallel to the PV wire. We also have the hybrid inverter ground wire, AC SPD hybrid inverter AC output, and of course the AC SPD hybrid inverter AC input. And if needed, you can enclose this with an enclosure that is rated IP65 or IP66. Now let's take a look at using two separate ground rods. We have our PV array on this side and the main system on this side as well. If there is a huge gap between these two, huge distance, better to have a ground rod for your PV array and another one for the main system. Connect your PV array on that first ground rod and the main system on the second one. Important thing, there is no certain rule when it comes to the distance, but the main objective is to have the least resistance in conductors as much as possible. A huge amount of distance means a longer wire is needed and could potentially increase resistance. 